Hey, so we're going to Medstead to visit uh, Jean Westmacott. She's the equipment coordinator for CPA, and we're going to talk about trying our walker in one of their programs. So we're pretty excited about that. So, do you want to tell us a little bit about uh, CPA and who they are and what they do? Okay, CPA stands for Cerebral Palsy Africa, and we help people who are already helping children with cerebral palsy. Um, with extra training so that we don't actually do programs but we're going to a country and try and work with whatever government officials say and whoever people advise who are working there already and then end up doing some training which consists of physiotherapy and also making assistive devices so the children can have some help in standing and sitting between therapy. Yeah and do you have any, any specific examples of what, what you've been involved in. Yeah, so usually we try and see the sooner you help a child with cerebral palsy, the better, because they've had some damage to their brain during birth or um, before birth or up to, up to even five years after birth. But the developing brain then um, reacts with what the child's doing physically. Mm. And so it's really important that children aren't left lying on their backs, which is what parents might do because that keeps the child safe left lying on their backs during the day but they don't develop using their hands and things so we would make something like a standing frame and the standing frame is it's first it's used lying like that and the child will be in it with their head down there and they'll they'll be practicing playing on the floor but this little bit of weight will be going through their legs and so you can bring it up and for a small amount of time at different times during the day they can be standing in that and develop the strength in their legs at the same time they would be using their trunk muscles because they'd be using their arms and that helps them develop physically mentally and wonderful thing is socially too some children will eat much better standing in that standing position the other thing is to make chairs so to make chairs with sides so that they support and we can adapt them for each different type of cerebral palsy Okay, so it's lots of uh, sitting frames and standing frames. So yes. if you're looking at a, an, an off-road walking frame, like the one that Exio is developing, mm -hmm. how would that fit into the picture? Well, the, the crucial way, which is top of the agenda at the moment, is apart from um, us going and finding out what happens, is that so many children, well, children just grow, and yeah. mothers will carry them on their backs, but it's not that easy. And it's the bigger the child grows, the more strain it is on the mother. But if the child can learn to walk and push a walker, even if they can't walk independently, it makes such a difference, and particularly for school. So school is uh, the answer for children with cerebral palsy, because if they get some schooling, then they can probably do a job, and maybe with the help of computers. Of course, there's some who might have been damaged more, but they can still have much more of a social life, and be a blessing in the community. So one of the big problems that teachers have reported on is going to the toilet because the teacher can't go out to class the whole time. They don't have um, learning support assistance like we have in the UK and um, the, the big thing is that if the children could be able to get in and out the classroom themselves with a walker that would be amazing and better still if they could even walk from home to school. So. If some of the children at least could do that, it would be a huge help for the teachers. If there was one thing that you wanted to leave everybody with about uh, the, the, just from your experience with uh, CPA, um, what would that one thing be? The one thing is to try and find out what local people are doing already because they might not tell you and they are usually doing amazing things like going to visit children on their days off and helping with families. So find out as much as possible and see how you can fit in.